I was pairing with somebody and I was trying to help them figure out why their session wasn't working the way they expected. And I thought it might be kind of an interesting thing to share on the channel because it dives a little deep into like how sessions actually work in Laravel and also some debugging techniques. So let's look at this contrived example uh, where I'm just trying to isolate what the problem is, right? So this is not real code. This is purely to demonstrate the issue. But we have a controller and it's basically doing an if else check. And it's looking to see if a key already exists in the session. So, you know, if, if it already has some key, then it's going to set value to that and ultimately return it. If it doesn't have that key, then it sets the value, still returns it, and then we end. But you'll notice we have some debugging statements in here, right? So I'm dumping out the value here. I'm dumping it out here. And this was something um, the, the developer I was working with, he had added these statements to try to figure out like what was going on. So these are normal things we might do when, when trying to troubleshoot. And then at the very end, instead of returning, because again, this is a simplified example in his actual code, it was doing all sorts of other work. He wanted to die and dump here just to see like what was the value at this point. Again, a reasonable thing to do. Now, what was happening for him, which, as he expected, the first time this page loaded, it went down the path of the else. It So it dumped out, does not have key, and then it would set the value here, right? So it's, it's in the session, it's pulling it back out of the session, and when it died and dumped, it was there. But then when he refreshed the page a second time, the expectation was, okay, because I clearly set it in the session, now it should go down this first path. It should dump that I dump has key and then still return the value. That is not what was happening. No matter how many times he refreshed it, he was always going down this else path. And so that is kind of where I got brought in to figure out like what is going on here. So let's dive under the hood to see like how Laravel sessions work. Because the one important thing to note is they do not use PHP's normal session handling mechanism. So that's like the first thing that might kind of surprise you, but Laravel has its own, and for, for good reasons, it has its own way of managing the session. But if we look at, this is the start session middleware. So this is a file from inside the Laravel framework. All middleware have a handle method. And the way the handle method works is like, as the request is coming in, it does some work, then your controller happens, and then as the response is sent back, it can do additional work. So the important method we wanna look at here is this handle stateful request. And this is actually a really nicely documented function. In fact, you know, you'll see this a lot when you read Laravel source code, is there's ample comments, there's nice spacing, things are organized, things are named in a clean way. So let's just, we're not gonna to try to understand every line of this, but let's just get in our mind the flow. So basically the first thing is it, it starts a session if it needs to, go, it does some garbage collection. We don't need to know what that is. Here is where our controller action will run. Then it's doing some cleanup work, right? It's storing the current URL, it's adding the cookie, and it's saving the session. So the answer is before us right here. What is it? Well, our, if our controller happens here and the session is saved here, what do you think happens if I die and dump inside my controller action? Yeah, it never gets to the rest of these methods. So basically, the session sort of exists in memory, but it's not committed if I die and dump in the middle of my controller action. So that's the solution and that, that's the explanation why he was seeing the behavior that it was like the session didn't exist, but clearly it did exist at the point the code was running. It was not being persisted because of the die and dump and because of the order in which these things happen relative to your controller code. So if he would have just changed this to dump, everything would have worked as expected. And so that's kind of a frustrating moment for him, but it was also an interesting way to learn a little bit about sessions. And I hope you enjoyed and learned something as well.